I feel so great and I'm happy. Our jobs are being exhibited, everybody coming to take pictures of it. I'm happy. My name is Akhet Oginiola Liko, the acting dean of School of Environmental Study. Well, architecture, the Department of Architecture was one of the few uh, departments with which the school kick-started about 15, 16 years ago. Um, the then rector, uh, the person of Professor Godwin Jodame, who is an architect himself, uh, by the of course, virtue of the fact that he is an architect, um, ensure that we started architecture at the time the school you know, was established by the former governor, Otumba Benga, then 16 years ago. And since then, we've been here. At that time, architecture was the only department in the Faculty of School of Environmental Studies. Right now, we have five. We have, after which, we have um, estate management, um, building tech. QAs and original planning. So, architecture, as far as uh, Igbesa is concerned, has come a long way. One of the oldest and one of uh, the forces to reckon with on the campus. Uh, over the years, we have graduated students that have made us proud at different places of their endeavors. We have had them, you know, we had some of them that has even come to join us as teachers in the faculties and uh, the faculty we have um, several of them in the field in construction industry in consultancy in the, you know different field of architecture you know we are the lecturer heads are very passionate uh, very committed you know and we love our job and we love our students you know we've been part of their life as soon as they are coming in uh, we've always ensured that we are part of them. We, we've been able to study their differences in terms of strengths and weaknesses, and which which we've been, you know, helping them with. You know, what we do here, we try as much as possible to be close to them, even to the to the extent of knowing their family, their parents, their contacts. So, if you have any weak students among them, we have uh, our ways of encouraging them to come up. You know, by you know, collaborating with their parents to ensure that they are provided with everything that they need to work with. Also, to also sometimes have one-on-one -on -one interaction with them. You know, because architecture, as far as it is, is um, is art and is science. It's uh, it has to do with creativity. It has to do with imagination. It's it's it's, it's a profession of excellence. It's not meant for every day. Tom and Larry, you know, if you want to be a common architect, you have to be, you have to work hard, you know, you have to, you have to love the profession, you have to love the job. You cannot be, be an architectural student and also have time to play around like your friends in other departments. So these are the kind of things we have always put into their, you know, into their mind as soon as they are coming in. And today, we are proud to say, uh, for the past 16 years, we've been running this department. We've never failed the accreditation, and our students have been making us proud. My name is Bela Abibad. I'm designing a supermarket. A supermarket is a place where you can get your daily needs, like food stuff, your needs, like you want to get your toiletries, your baby's, your baby's toiletries, anything you want to get for yourself. So, I did my case study at Igondo side. Which is, I noticed some demerits there, like the car park, no proper car park. I have to solve the problem in my project. Firstly, and even, I'm designing a supermarket for students around the Besa. I noticed we students, if we want to get anything around the Besa, we have to, we have to travel before we can get anything. We have to, we have to spend at least like some amount to get what we need. So I feel like at least if you can just have one around for the students to get their needs, like our food stuff, our toiletries, anything we need, we can just get it around there. So, and it's secondly, the case study, I noticed there is no proper, proper car parks. So, 
I have to input it in my own. Maybe you want to buy something, you came with your car, you come with your cars. There is a good place to just park your car and get what you want to need and just live there. And secondly, the supermarket, I put it around Ibesa for the student to be able to access it easily. Not that you want to get anything again, going travel, travel a little bit to buy what you want to get. Attention is not easy, but thank God, thank God. We are moving fast, we are moving fast, thank God. My name is architect Oluma Ewa Michael. I'm a lecturer in the Department of Architecture, Ogun State Institute of Technology, Higesa, here. I'm also a supervisor, and part of the project I was able to supervise for this session, proposed Henry's orientation camp in Lagos, because we know that Lagos State, due to the large population, they have a very small orientation camp, so we are proposing another one, which one of our students carry that out, Dio. HND2. Then I also supervise proposed grant to Trust Bank for OGT community. That's carried out by our handy students. I just say our Falabi located somewhere close to the school so that the whole people in Ibesa will be able to benefit from it. Also I supervise proposed dancing school that's located in Lagos State and proposed high court as well in Lagos State. I'm happy I'm able to impart knowledge into the upcoming generation as a student that are graduating into the, into the labor market this time around and as well as really remain relevant in my field of study. Following the new trend in technology that we have today, we just have to continue you know, imparting knowledge and also acquiring, adding to what we have before initially and what we are going to become in life. I'm uh, Mrs. Akondine Ifolashade. Department of Architectural Technology, Open State Institute of Tech, Ibesa. As you can see, we are here today to for our ND2 and the HND2. They're actually on their final year project, and the, in line with the NBT, whenever it is a when they are in their terminal classes, we have to call an external supervisor. Who, who is also a member of a Nigerian Institute of Architecture to work on their, to come around to see the work they have done so far. And we thank God that today was a fulfilled one. In the Department of Architecture, Architecture is about designing and construction, and it's majorly on practical aspects. They, they showcase this, whatever they are able to achieve here, based on the way they started. In fact, their starting point is always very funny. Some students catch up on time, but some students along the way, while working with their uh, colleagues, their lecturers, they pick up. And at the end of the day, by the time they have their jury, when the uh, instance supervisor comes around to assess their work, it's always a very good one. And we also encourage them to go out there for their IT. That's for the ND2. They have their IT in an architectural firm or construction firm. So by the time they come back for their HND, they always groom also having the practical knowledge outside combined with the theoretical one in the school and the normal tutelage that they will have there. Then our HND2, by the time they will conclude their program, they will go for NYC. Some of them might be lucky, they may post them to architectural firm. And uh, in fact, the most thing I'm happy about is that majorly most of them, they are always they are self-employed right from ND2, once they are done with the IT. And by the time they come in for their HND, once they are on with their uh, NYC service, they prefer to be on their own as a self-employed to also uh, transfer this knowledge. Architecture is a, is a kind of a, I would say, a thing that when, when, if you have passion, you go, you go, you go further. But without passion, in fact, you, you can't even, you can't move further. So we really appreciate God for today. And uh, our external supervisor is also here. He's, he's happy with what the students have done so far. And with the, the lecturer too, we also encourage. So we appreciate everyone that comes around. I'm architect Dr. Kolawole Hokpayemi Murakinyo. I'm here at I'm here today at Igbesa, Ogun State Institute of Technology, Igbesa, Department of Architectural Technology, for the final jury presentations of the 
National Diploma Student and higher National Diploma Student. The tradition is that when the students are graduating, both at the National Diploma level and at the higher National Diploma level, so the tradition is that they must be assessed by an external person for them to, for, to adjust in whatever they are doing, for them to, to take note of areas of deficiencies. Um, it is evident in Nigeria now, the incessant, the frequent, the frequent occurrence of building collapse being designed by quarks and to discourage the, the, the trends of quackery, there is need for the training and practice of architecture. Because architecture is the heart and science of how buildings are being designed and constructed. To reduce the incessant rate of building collapse, there is need for, for training of architects, the good training of architects at both the polytechnic level and the university level. As a being regulated by the Architects Regulation Council of Nigeria, which is the statutory body that is concerned with the training and the practice of architecture in Nigeria. So the few of the challenges we have with the public that are students this time around is time frame. Although it's something that is started earlier, but despite that in architecture the time is not always enough, no matter how you try to give them extension. But we at least they did well and we are happy with their outcome for this session. Then availability of instruments and materials. Sometimes because you know some of the students they are the ones you know fending from themselves and you know working as well as you know studying for themselves. So it's always difficult for them to be able to meet up in getting their materials. And particularly in Hibesa here, most of the materials are scarce. So sometimes they have to go as far as Lagos State to get some of the things which make them delay in some of their work. Then sets of computer, these are one of the things that we want the school to look into. Of course, thank God we appreciate the school for the new environmental faculty that we had now. At least where architecture is relevant there. But I would like them to also provide computers for our students for their AutoCAD drawing, HackyCAD, Revit, and all other you know, computer software that we are using. Part of how we develop their interests and make them tough is by introducing them to um, some off syllabus assignments. For example, of course, we have um, part of what we have is we have the decorating, is it decoration uh, workshop where students have been taught how to play around with paints, hearts, and what have you. Like I told you the other time, the architecture is heart and science. You can't talk about that because the, way, the only way to, to show your expression is by putting it down in the form of hearts for people to see. That's when you say, okay, this is what it is. So part of what it is, is what this and the one student have been able to do. You know, sometimes we, we, we also have a particular project that we call One Million Lines. You create shapes and kind of thing by drawing lines consistently, you know. That one is also test your ability to uh, to be patient, ability to be able to adapt to stress and, and what have you. So this is part of what they've been able to do and other ones that you've seen around, you know. Um, um, this is a, a towel, the, the towel in Paris. And uh, it's just to test their imagination. You know, they have more, they, and they want to so know if they can do this. You can, you can imagine what they will be able to do by the time they are done with uh, their, their national diploma. You know, it's just one of several ones that they will have to do. Before. And if a student is able to do this, he can make money out of this, even as a student, and get some money to buy some of your dry materials.